Welcome to another session in our Lua Basics tutorial series. In this session, we'll be diving into the world of conditional statements in Lua. Conditional statements allow us to make decisions in our code based on certain conditions, enabling our programs to respond dynamically to different situations. Today, we'll be focusing on three essential conditional statements, if, else if, and else. These statements form the backbone of conditional logic in Lua and are used extensively in programming tasks of all kinds. In this example, we first define a variable called number and assign it a value of 10. Next, we use an if statement to check if the number is greater than zero. If this condition is true, we print the number is positive. If the number is not greater than zero, we use an else if statement to check if it is less than zero. If this condition is true, we print the number is negative. If neither of the previous conditions is true, we execute the else block and print the number is zero. This example demonstrates how if, else if, and else statements allow us to evaluate multiple conditions and execute different blocks of code based on those conditions. In Lua, we can use multiple else if statements to evaluate additional conditions if the initial if condition is not met. This allows us to handle multiple possible outcomes in our code. For example, suppose we want to classify a given number into different categories based on its value range. We can use multiple else if statements to check each range sequentially and execute different actions accordingly. In this example, we use multiple else if statements to check if the number falls into different ranges number. Each else if statement is evaluated sequentially, and the corresponding block of code is executed if the condition is true. Using multiple else if statements allows us to create more complex conditional logic and handle various scenarios in our Lua scripts. In Lua, the end keyword is used to mark the end of a conditional block of code, such as an if, else if, or else statement. It serves as a delimiter to indicate where the block of code associated with the conditional statement ends. For example, in the following code snippet. The end keyword closes the entire conditional block, encompassing all the if, else if, and else statements. It helps Lua distinguish the boundaries of the conditional logic and ensures that the interpreter knows when to stop processing the conditions. Remember to always include an end keyword to close every conditional block in Lua to avoid syntax errors and ensure proper code execution. These fundamental concepts are essential building blocks for creating dynamic and responsive Lua scripts. As you continue your journey in Lua programming, remember to practice writing conditional logic in different scenarios to solidify your understanding.